Christopher Nolan's latest film Oppenheimer is based on the life of the American theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and takes inspiration from the 2005 book, American Prometheus, by Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin. Oppenheimer oversaw the first atomic bomb detonation in New Mexico as part of the Manhattan Project under President Franklin D. Roosevelt's presidency. The Christopher Nolan-directed film features a star-studded cast including Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Emily Blunt, Killian Murphy and Florence Pugh. Direction Christopher Nolan has truly outdone himself with this gripping biographical drama. Killian Murphy's portrayal of J. Robert Oppenheimer was nothing short of extraordinary, he brought an incredible depth and complexity to the character. Making the genius physicist feel hauntingly real. Nolan's direction was masterful as always, seamlessly blending history, science, and emotion. The visuals were breathtaking, transporting us back to the era of the Manhattan Project with stunning attention to detail. The use of practical effects and practical sets added a sense of authenticity that further immersed me in the story. What impressed me the most was Nolan's ability to present complex scientific concepts in an accessible way without oversimplifying them. The film catered to both science enthusiasts and general audiences, striking a perfect balance between intellectual stimulation and emotional resonance. Acting Killian Murphy is all set to get his debut Oscar nomination, and probably he'd win it too. But the more important thing is he'll get this for a Christopher Nolan film. It almost looks like he's achieved a character arc no other actor could have in Nolan's filmography. From being the scarecrow to the shivering soldier and getting a film which not only is perfect for him to lead but almost delivers the performance his lifetime, almost because I love Thomas Shelby too much. With this Killian Murphy has achieved what only a handful of performers get to in their lifetime. Robert Downey Jr. as Strauss astounded me to the levels I didn't expect. Put Killian. And Matt Damon in Nolan films and you already know they're going to outdo themselves but putting Robert Downey Jr., our beloved Iron Man in here L, Nolan challenged our hopes like he always does and won like he always does. Emily Blunt breaks the archetype of Nolan's half-baked woman as she delivers a sensational performance despite the limited screen time. Matt Damon is outstanding as Leslie Groves and holds his ground amidst the other towering performances. Florence Pugh's mysterious Jean Tatlock leaves a brief impact with her solid presence, though the N** Didi did come across as unnecessary but that might be because to cover her up with a fake CGI created black sheet done by the Indian censor board. Benny Safdie as Edward Teller. Kenneth Branagh as Oppenheimer's Danish mentor Niels Bohr, and Josh Hartnett as Oppie's close colleague Ernest Lawrence all come, achieve what they're set to and leave delivering good acts. Storyline Divided into two parts fission and fusion. The first one splits the story of The Big Daddy of Atomic Bomb, J. Robert Oppenheimer's, played by Killian Murphy comfortably securing his debut Oscar nomination, secret 1954 hearing regarding renewing his security clearance post the Promethean torture he faces following the historic moment of dropping the atomic bomb in Japan and the latter one, fusion. Shot in the recently invented IMAX BNW Kodak cameras taking us through Louis Strauss, Robert Downey Jr., involvement in the Oppenheimer business as he runs for Eisenhower's Secretary of Commerce in the year 1959. Fission is crammed with the incidents that made Oppenheimer sit in front of the United States government and plead, without showing it loud, them to cleanse his soul by letting go of the accusations of his tying with communists. All this while he was working on creating a history that the world will remember. Fusion brings in the conspiracy theory side of the story depicting a diplomatic war between scientists and politicians of the U.S. revolving around the legacy J. Robert Oppenheimer would leave for the world to witness. Cinematography You won't need a 4DX version to shake your seats if you're watching this on an IMAX screen, thanks to Richard King's in-sync transcending sound design with the music composer Ludwig Göransson, more on music. A little later. Its sound is the soul of this Christopher Nolan film and you're reminded of this in every single scene. The sound pushes everything, 
from the written print to the first-class performances by the first-class actors. The Overwhelming Aspects One aspect that stood out was the film's exploration of Oppenheimer's moral dilemmas and the weight of the decisions he faced. The screenplay didn't shy away from the ethical implications of his work on the atomic bomb. Forcing the audience to confront the morally gray areas of scientific progress during wartime. While Oppenheimer may not be an action-packed thriller like some of Nolan's previous works, its slow and deliberate pacing allowed for a profound and thought-provoking experience. By the final act. I found myself questioning the moral implications of scientific advancements and reflecting on the consequences of our choices as a species. You won't just watch what's happening on screen, you'll feel it. Be it the explosion outside or inside the characters' minds, especially Murphy's Oppie. Music and Background Score Is Ludwig Göransson the new Hans Zimmer for Christopher Nolan? Post Tenet, which Hans rejected for Dune, many of us thought we'll see Zimmer return but it's not the case. Ludwig continues to case what Zimmer is best at. Blending the music so well with the narration that, at times, they feel like the same thing. While we still hope to see Zimmer Nolan E come back, I don't really mind Ludwig filling the void. Last words. All said and done. In a scene while getting frustrated from the country's politics destroying his image, Killian's Oppenheimer says, Is anyone ever going to tell the truth about what's going here? And I exclaimed, Yes, Oppie, one day Christopher Nolan will. Rating? Five stars.